Hey folks, welcome back. So I'm Ben Alexander for those of you that uh, are new to the channel and uh, this video is a bit different to usual. Uh, ordinarily I sit and talk about the latest happenings in the EV world. Uh, so uh, I was recently in Amsterdam like I possibly said in a previous video. I'm not sure if I did on my return back to uh, Europe and uh, I, I thought as I was popping into Amsterdam that I'll spend a few days there. And uh, it's amazing. It really is amazing. So many electric cars, as you can see uh, in the previous clip. Uh, there was the BYD Seal, and I just thought uh, that it was parked very badly, <laughs> so I took that little bit of video. And uh, these are just some uh, pictures of some electric cars I saw in, in literally a few days, just in and around Amsterdam. Uh, and I got to see the Zika, and I, I did actually do another video, which I'll get to. Uh, after this, it's going to be a quality control check video of the Zika. Uh, so this is a uh, car parking garage, one of uh, uh, you know one of the best ones I've seen. It's amazing under the streets of Amsterdam, and uh, you know bikes really are everything in Amsterdam. <laughs> Amsterdam. They're crazy. It goes in it. It's a really long history, and uh, you know. So anyway, back to what we're seeing here. Uh, the Zika. I was really impressed with it. Uh, of course. Nothing weird to report, no weird paint things or anything like that. And uh, I was happy to see some proper tyres on it too. And uh, yeah, I thought uh, it was very nice, very comfortable inside as well. I haven't driven it, obviously. Just uh, I was just lucky enough to bump into it in the city centre. And uh, they said I could do a little video with it, so that was good. Uh, but... Uh, I'm just, yeah, I think it's probably got the same quality as a Volvo, I reckon, you know, and uh, possibly even something comparable to a BYD, maybe. Anyway, regardless, very, very nice. I really liked it. And, uh, yeah, I really like the steering wheel, too. I really do like the steering wheel. Uh, there was one bad thing, which was the uh, screen, which you'll get to in a second. I wasn't so impressed with that. Uh, all the switches feel nice. I've no idea how they will hold up, you know, after two or three years, or five, ten years maybe, or even what, 20 years, how they're going to all be. I have no idea. But they felt good. The screen, quite a bit, I don't know, it just felt a bit glitchy. I only gave you a small clip here, but generally, a bit glitchy. wasn't impressed. Look, I'm like pressing it twice, it comes up. And then, I just, I'm not a big fan of that, you know, when you pay huge money for an electric car and, uh, and in my opinion it is huge it is huge money you know maybe not if you're rich and you're buying a really expensive car so but it is generally it's a lot of money for a huge amount of people uh, these bikes I really love them they're everywhere Felix is the company you can download the app and uh, rent them for the day and there's a few little tariffs that you can use like uh, so many cents every hour they're amazing uh, these uh, I, I this is the Citroen Ami, but it was uh, Opal, basically. And uh, another picture of the Zika in, in full glory. Pretty cool car. I really like the size of it. It's like the MG4 sort of size. It's nice. Uh, this car here, I know a lot of you uh, know what it is, but I just think it's really beautiful as an electric car goes. And uh, yeah, this Fiat 500 as well with a broken flap on it. Uh, reversing very badly in the city and uh, irritated this lady behind who was like pipping a horn and revving up her petrol car. Uh, yeah, everywhere, look. Just electric cars everywhere. I would probably go so far as to say, I don't know, one in five cars maybe are electric in Amsterdam. Like even all hybrids, but uh, proper hybrids with a big battery, you know, like they're everywhere. And uh, it really does show you know, the air quality in uh, Amsterdam, surprisingly good, apart from the occasional diesel uh, where like a taxi sits there or something like that, or uh, a truck delivering something, leaves the engine ring running. And uh, that's more that's more my cup of tea, the Volkswagen app or the Citroen here. Uh, great little cars, although I don't think the Citroen has uh, cooling on the battery, so that's a bit of a blow. I thought that was the electric version, I only had a very quick glance, and I literally just was uh, walking quickly past it. It's not, I don't think. So, uh, yeah. Also, these were everywhere. The uh, Mercedes uh, electric 
uh, cars everywhere, all different types. So really, really nice. I definitely recommend uh, Amsterdam as a place to go. And uh, yeah, really, really nice. And I hope this video was a little bit interesting. Uh, thank you for being patient. I know that, you know, a lot of you subscribed because I said that I would do videos every day. And then I've kind of buggered off for a couple of weeks uh, whilst coming back to Europe and uh, moving house and that sort of thing. And uh, you can probably tell I'm not very well. I got a bit of a bad cold from all the traveling and just being run down. So really, really nice. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for watching this video. I hope it was a bit interesting, a little bit. I didn't take as much footage as I would have liked. But um, yeah, feeling much better. More videos to come soon. The next one is going to be the, the close-up quality control check of the Zika because uh, I know loads of people really love them. And uh, I get occasionally a person say that they're, they're silly. <laughs> well, I really don't think they're silly, you know, because more people are saying that they're pretty good. So, uh, yeah, hope you're all doing well. And uh, thanks for watching.